Wayne and Andre here from Baseball Canada. Today we're going to talk about the use of tobacco products in baseball. Andre, what's Baseball Canada's policy on the use of tobacco? So for years, Wayne, we've had that rule at Baseball Canada and mainly at national championships. And I know in most provinces they have the same rule also at the provincial level where the use of tobacco products are uh, prohibited whether it's by uh, officials, coaches, or athletes during the course of, of the games at, at national championships. So we've had that for quite some time now. So there seems to be a trend towards smokeless tobacco in baseball. Can you speak to that? Well, I think, I think it was originally really linked, smokeless tobacco with baseball has been really linked together for years. Uh, recent research showing that hockey, uh, especially in Canada, uh, has surpassed baseball, uh, like it's surprising, surprising, but it, it is the case. Um, uh, but in baseball, we see kids like still buying these products, and at the age of 13, 14, they will try it for the first time. For so, for coaches at home, you need to be observant. You need to take a look at your athletes also to make sure um, that you're aware that if they if they are taking the, these products, so you can make some interventions as well. And it seems that athletes transition to smokeless tobacco to prevent uh, diseases like lung cancer, but in fact, smokeless tobacco is a major cause of various cancers in the mouth. Yeah, exactly. And if, and if you look at the regular cigarettes, you're going to find one milligram of nicotine in one cigarette. If you look at the regular cigar, for example, you're going to look at four, but if you look at one dip of smokeless tobacco, you're looking at 12. So it's like taking 12 cigarettes putting tape around it and put the fire on it and then smoking it. That's mainly what it is, guys. So it's pretty important as a problem and you need to be involved as coaches with your, with your athletes, with your parents also, so you can make proper interventions. Because at the end of the day, trying to get rid of the habit is quite difficult because some people will say, okay, I'm going to put a patch here of nicotine to get rid of it. But the regular nicotine you can find, you could purchase at the pharmacy, will give you three or maybe sometimes four milligrams of nicotine. So you could, you would need three of them to get rid of it, and most people don't do that. So getting rid of it is really, really difficult when you start using the product. There you have it, coaches. Be a leader in removing tobacco from our game of baseball.